Sinead O'Connor shared the heartbreaking news on Saturday that her teenage son has passed away. Confirming the devastating tragedy on Twitter, the 55-year-old musician paid tribute to her 17-year-old son Shane O'Connor, calling her late child the light of, her, life. Shane's sad passing comes just days after a police search, and a desperate plea from his doting mum, began, following the teenager's disappearance being reported earlier this week. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby. I love you so much. Please be at peace, a devastated Sinead wrote within her moving online tribute to her late son, whom she shared with musician Donnell Loney. Sinead's unimaginable loss is yet another cruel tragedy for the Irish star, who has suffered several ordeals during her life in the spotlight. Born in Glenagiri, County Dublin on December 8, 1966, the Nothing Compares to You singer was the, the third of five children Sean and Marie O'Connor. Sinead's childhood was rocked at the age of eight, when her parents became embroiled in a bitter divorce, with the singer later moving to live with her father after describing life with her mother as a torture chamber and claiming she suffered sexual and physical abuse. After being caught shoplifting and skipping school, a teenage Sinead was sent to a Magdalene asylum for unruly women for 18 months, somewhere she says she experienced such panic and terror and agony. Over the years, the star, who changed her name to Shuhada Sadakat in 2018, has repeated accusations that she suffered extreme and violent abuse, both emotional and physical the hands of her mother throughout her childhood. However, Sinead was able to forgive her mother, who died in a car accident when the star was 19, due to relating and understanding her mental health battles. Speaking with Oprah Winfrey in October 2007, Sinead revealed publicly that she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder four years previously, after attempting to take her own life on her 33rd birthday on December 8, 1999. The award-winning singer would later explain how several second opinions had seen doctors state she was not bipolar, but had still be candid and honest about her mental health battles. Over the years, Sinead has has a complicated relationship with social media, often using platforms like Twitter and Facebook during periods of depression and when suffering suicidal thoughts. Concerned fans were once so worried about a string of posts that saw the singer state she wanted to go to heaven so bad, that the police were called to the star's house. Sinead would later confess the messages were a cry for help. Suicide doesn't solve your problems, she said. It only makes them infinitely, uncountably worse. Alongside mental health conditions, Sinead also lives with fibromyalgia, a chronic condition that causes widespread pain and extreme tiredness. Speaking after a career break, the Grammy Award winner said when you get something like fibromyalgia it's a gift, actually, because you have to reassess your life ahead of her return to the stage. In 2021, after a string of public performances the year before, Sinead announced her plans to postpone future gigs and instead, enter a rehabilitation program. If I take this time to heal, I will be fit for a lifetime of touring. If I don't, I want, she explained to fans at the time. The star also spoke about her fears for her children and the death of a close friend as the motivation for her rehab stint. The child is thriving now thank God but the mom needs TLC, Sinead wrote on Twitter at the time, revealing she was taking time away for a one-year trauma and addiction treatment program. Admitting to drug use after the death of a close friend, she added, this year I lost someone beloved and has affected me so badly that I became briefly addicted to a drug other than weed. 
I had a very traumatic six years and this year was the end of it but now recovery starts. Sadly, Sinead's 2022 has begun with tragedy, after the confirmation her son Shane O'Connor had died on Saturday January 8. Two days after an official search began for the missing teenager, police revealed Shane's body had been found. Following the recovery of a body in the Bray area of Wicklow on Friday 7 January 2022, a missing person appeal in respect of Shane O'Connor, 17 years, has been stood down, a police spokesperson said on Saturday. Prior to the heartbreaking discovery, Sinead took to Twitter days earlier and pleaded with her lookalike son to contact her. Shane, your life is precious. God didn't chisel that beautiful smile on your beautiful face for nothing, the mum of four tweeted amid the search. My world would collapse without you. You are my heart, please don't stop it from beating. Please don't harm yourself. Go to the Guardi and let's get you to hospital. Police confirmed that the search for Shane had been called off just hours after the heartbroken mom's desperate pleas. My beautiful son, Nevim Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life, decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God, Sinead tweeted, confirming her son's sad death. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby. I love you so much. Please be at peace. If you are struggling with mental health, you can speak to a trained advisor from Mind Mental Health Charity on 0300-123-3393 or email info at mind.org.uk.